I want to bring in another guest to this conversation as we continue to talk about the killing of Khalid Jabara in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dr. Mohammed Abu Saha is with us. His two daughters, Razan and Yusa, were shot dead along with his son in law, Dia Barakat, last year in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, by a neighbor. Razan was 19, Yusa 21, Dia was 23. Police initially said the killings were resulted from a dispute over a parking space, but relatives of the victims described the killings as a hate crime. The suspected gunman, Craig Stephen Hicks, has been charged with three counts of first-degree murder. Dr. Mohammed Abu Saha joins us from Raleigh, North Carolina. As you listen to this story, it must sound horrifyingly familiar. It does. And, uh, first of all, I would like to uh, express condolences to the Jabara family. Victoria, Rami, and the family, um, your story is uh, almost identical to ours, and I know exactly how you feel. Uh, Khaled was uh, one too many to lose, but we lost three children in seconds. Um, the pain is forever, and our lives are um, torn up, and we will never be the same. It's flashbacks, it's nightmares, it's uh, diminished energy. <coughs> sad mood most of the time, and even our relationships and community activities have changed. Uh, it's, it's horrible. And, and the similarities between the two cases are, are so many. Uh, Craig Hicks also uh, harassed my children uh, many times. Uh, though he picked on parking for five years, he never threatened anybody this way until he saw my daughter, Yusser, and my daughter, Razan show up on the scene with the hijab, and he could tell they're Muslim. Because before that, he never did that with Dia, my son-in-law, because Dia looked like an average uh, tall, slim, athletic, white American boy. Nobody could tell Dia was a Muslim, because he, he, they never had an accent, either. So once he began to see my daughters, he began to raise the heat, and he told Yusser, my late Yusser, that he hated her and how she dressed and how she appeared. And though the three of them were drop-dead gorgeous children, uh, very well-known philanthropists and charity workers in the region, um, he saw them as just Muslims, and he zoned in on them, planning to kill them. And he carried out his threats uh, in a very premeditated and uh, cold-blooded cold fashion. We're going to play part two of this conversation uh, tomorrow. Uh, we're going to continue the conversation after the show. I want to thank Dr. Mohammed Abu, Abu Saha, father of Hassan Yusuf, uh, Mohammed Abu Saha, who were shot dead last year. Uh, and I want to thank our guests, Rami and Victoria, um, for joining us from Tulsa. This is